Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a uh, inventory binder flip through slash update um, to show you where I've gotten to. So let's dive in. So as always, I've got my colour section at the front, which I still need to reorganise. But I've got my green. <clears throat> Excuse me, all my greens into my blues, um, purples, reds, pinks, uh, yellows, no, orange, yellow, and gold. And then I've got my bronzes, uh, browns, and coppers. And then my black, white, and greys in here, as well as my clear. My next section is my distress oxide section, which I still haven't finished or even really started. So that's pretty much the same. I am planning on getting this done in the next couple of weeks, though, because... I'm fed up of it not being done <laughs> and I would really like to get this finished one of my goals for this year was to get this al um, not album this uh, binder completed so I am itching to get that done I have only got what what we got left five months to get this <laughs> to get this finished so my next plan of action is finish my stencils and my distress oxides. I couldn't think then. My next section is my stays on. So I've got my white, my blacks, my grey and my red. I've got lawn fawn. I only have two of them. Uh, stamping up next. Let's actually move. There we go. Uh, distress oxide sprays. I've got one. One lonely one. Uh, distress spray stains. Is that bit done? Uh, dilution sprays. Uh, all of these um, inserts come off of the um, like Ranger website and things like that. So here's all the sprays. Uh, Heidi Swap. And then we're going to paint. So I've got um, all my paints sectioned out by company. So I've got one company here, or one lonely one from that company, uh, two from that company, uh, four from that company, four from that company. You get the picture. So that's all one. Um, no, it's not. That's one, they're all separate, <laughs> then that's one, and then these are all my Poundland ones, I've got all my Hobbycraft paints here, apart from one that I still need to swatch, um, all my paint pens, and then I start my watercolour section, so here is all my watercolour paints, here, and an overview here. My next section is pens. So I've got my Crayola Super Tips, Scribblicious. I've just written on here that this one's been binned. Um, my Pilot G1s and G2s, Dovecraft, Voldemir Twin Tip, Scribblicious Felt Tips. Next section, section even, is pencils. So we start off with my Distress Crayons, my Boldermere Crayons, and then we go into my Marvel collection of crayon, uh, pencils, even. And then I've got the uh, Crayola back in to the original packaging. 
and then it goes into my Crayola. I can't even talk today. It's my third video. <laughs> Crayola um, pencils. So that's all them swatched. My next section is drops. Before I go into that, I just wanted to explain some sticky note situation. Right, so the ones at the top are the ones that I know that I haven't really done anything with and they need to be started. Um, the ones on the side are the ones that need to be um, finished. Like I thought I'd finished them, then more stuff came in and now I need to add that to that um, specific like uh, section of my book, my binder. Ooh, words are getting hard. <laughs> it's because it's tea time, I'm hungry. So my next section is drops. So I've got all of my Dovecraft drops. Um, my Nouveau drops. Next one is embossing powders. Which is done. Next one is stencils. I did this the other day on a video. And I honestly thought I had finished my stencils. And then I remembered that when I had my AliExpress order come in. Um, a few months ago now. That I had stencils turn up in that. So I need to add that. That's why the sticky note is now on the side. So here's all my stencils. I've just written who they're from. Or where I've got them uh, from. And if I know the size of them. Then I've written that down as well. They're not great quality photos. But I don't really care. It's just for the purpose of being able to see what I've got. To make sure I don't ever buy doubles. Um, so you're looking like see the reflection in some of the um, photos, but honestly, I don't really care about it. So that's them. Uh, embossing folders is next. I don't know how well you're going to see this bit. I can flip the page, but. They are on there. So, and I've just done them on both sides. So even though they're on white card stock, card stock I can still see them. I don't like these page protectors, they stick together. So my next section is stamps, and as the post-it note is telling me, I've not even started that section. See? <laughs> the next one is punches. So I've got in here... Come on. All of my different punches... in here my next section is dies i also have to hang on on that same aliexpress order i had come in i had new dies turn up so uh, <laughs> i um i need to finish my dies off for this section And no, they weren't more tags. I've got way too many of them. Um, my pockets. The sticky note to remind me that... Oh. Uh, why did I stick it there? No, apparently I'd already stuck it. But if it's there, I know where it is. That needs to come out a bit further. Yeah, so dies need finishing. Next section is my pam pamper. It's not my pamper at all. It's my paper section. And I I have all my paper by company collection and what I have from the collection 
so down here I've got like or along here I've got like 1 to 18 and I tick the boxes and write how many I've got in there if I've got multiples and then each one of these numbers correlate to uh, a product so like 12 by 12 papers 6 by 6 6 by 8 12 by 12 stickers 6 by 12 stickers sticker books puffy stickers chipboard sheet ephemera enamel dots washi tape alphas brads flares foam stickers stamps word titles and journaling bits so this one is my stamperia as well as that bit simple stories Simple stories, uh, craft sensation, Echo Park, Coco Vanilla, Pinkfish Studio, Trim Craft, and then Miscellaneous. Then my next section is Washi, and I've also stuck a a note in here to um remind me what i need to add into it because i won a box full of um miss paper lovers washi tape collection when she had her d stash i won one of the boxes so i need to add the washi tape to my collection but this is where it's at so far and that's the end of it I've taken all my um, spare page protectors and and um, why are, why are they like the coin pocket ones and put them in another binder because she's chunky and she's heavy, like real heavy. <laughs> um, she's not even finished. But yeah. Um, if I, ooh, like, she, she, she ain't really got much left in, room left in her, and I can't even close it properly because it likes to pop itself open now. But anywho, um, yeah, hopefully I'll be working on this in the next couple of weeks, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will, um, speak to you again soon. Please leave me a comment down below if you... Um, also have an inventory binder and what sort of depths do you go to is it just paints pens pencils is it uh just things like dyes and that um or do you do you just like swatching colors because i do <laughs> but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video i'll speak to you all again soon don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one bye